we've been waiting for this moment for four long electrified rumor-filled years. The Tesla Model 2, the so-called $25,000 car, has lived in the realm of whispers and leaks, teasing us from the shadows. But now the silence is breaking. The prototypes have rolled, the factory floors are vibrating, and Tesla's network is shifting gears from planning to motion. Right now, Giga Texas is alive. The evidence is undeniable. Fresh reports from mid-September 2025 show workers drilling switchgear mounts, wiring megapack trailers, prepping next-generation supercharger stations, and conducting full-scale crash tests. Each sound echoing through that massive plant is a sign. The Model 2 is real and its pulse is growing stronger by the day. And when Elon Musk speaks, the industry listens. He doesn't add to the noise, he slices through it. You'll see it coming, he said, thousands, perhaps millions of times faster than what's currently possible. And for once, the world is seeing exactly what he meant. This isn't just about another electric car. This is the culmination of Tesla's founding mission, the dream to make clean, sustainable transport truly accessible for everyone. The Model 2 is Tesla's declaration that the electric revolution isn't a luxury anymore. It's a necessity. But the question we all have is simple. When? When will this long-awaited compact Tesla actually hit the streets? Elon has committed to 2026 as the official production start year for the Model 2. But this time it's not just words. The evidence is physical, tangible, real. Gigafactory Mexico, in the industrial heart of Nuevo Leon, is being transformed into the global hub for Tesla's next chapter. Once those production lines switch on, early projections show the plant could roll out between a quarter million to half a million cars in its very first year. That's more than Ford managed with the Mustang Mach-E since its launch back in 2020 and nearly equal to Volkswagen's entire global EV output in 2024. If Tesla hits that mid-range target of half a million Model 2s, it would instantly outsell every single electric model currently on the market, combined. But there's a catch. For buyers in the United States, the timing could sting. The federal $7,500 EV tax credit officially expired at the end of September 2025. Meaning, anyone buying a Model 2 in 2026 or later gets zero federal incentive. Buyers who locked in their purchases before October 2025 basically got a $17,500 car instead of $25,000. That's a massive gap. And starting October 1, 2025, a new tax law offers a deduction of up to $10,000 on auto loan interest, but only for vehicles assembled in the United States, and only for those who finance their purchase instead of leasing. Even then, it phases out for single filers earning above $100,000 or married couples over $200,000. Let's say you buy a $25,000 Model 2 with a 6% interest rate spread over 5 years. You'll pay just under $4,000 in total interest, and that's the amount you can deduct. Depending on your tax bracket, that saves you around $900 to $1,100. It's something but nowhere near the old federal credit. Still, for Tesla, the focus isn't on chasing subsidies anymore. It's about cracking the scale puzzle, how to produce a mass-market EV faster and cheaper than anyone else. Right now, in early October 2025, Tesla is running crash tests, thermal validation and endurance cycles on its pre-production Model 2 units in Texas. To gain full certification, Tesla needs at least 50 separate crash tests across different conditions. Each destroyed prototype costs roughly $150,000. Tesla's engineers typically conduct 10 tests per month. From October through December, that means about 30 tests followed by paperwork submission to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration by January 2026. Federal review takes roughly 60 days, putting approval around March or April 2026. But here's the twist few talk about. California, the biggest EV market in America, accounting for nearly 40% of all sales, requires a separate approval from the California Air Resources Board. That adds another 45 to 60 days. So even if you pre-order your Model 2 the moment Tesla opens the website, if you're in California, your car likely won't arrive before May 2026. Texans and Floridians, however, could see deliveries in April, thanks to simpler state-level regulations. Just by living in the right zip code, you might get your Model 2 a full month earlier. Austin, Texas will play a massive role, but a measured one. Analysts expect fewer than 100,000 Model 2s to come out of Giga Texas in the first production year, focused entirely on the U.S. market. The purpose here isn't to flood the roads but to prove Tesla's new unboxed manufacturing system, the process that could change car production forever. Instead of the traditional linear assembly line, Tesla is breaking the car into major modules, front, rear and underbody, 
all built in parallel and then snapped together like Lego. This reduces assembly time by up to half compared to Model 3 or Model Y production. If this works, Tesla won't just produce faster. It'll redefine factory design across the world. By 2027, maybe 2028, Tesla's curve steepens dramatically. Mexico and Texas together could be producing a million Model 2s a year, something no electric vehicle has ever achieved. For comparison, the Model 3 took nearly four years after its launch to reach that same figure. And to put it into perspective, Toyota's legendary Corolla, the world's best-selling car, averages just over 1.1 million units annually. The fact that Tesla could reach that volume with a single electric model would be historic. If Berlin and Shanghai retrofit their plants on schedule by 2028, global Model 2 production could reach between 1.5 to 2 million units per year. That's not a projection, that's a revolution. For buyers, Tesla's rollout will follow a predictable rhythm. Pre-orders expected in January 2026, design confirmations in February, initial production in March, and first U.S. deliveries by late April. The entire first wave of customers could have cars in their driveways before summer 2026, at least in certain states. From June through December, production ramps up hard. Tesla's target is to fulfill nearly all reservations by the first half of 2027. But unless you're part of the early deposit group, you might be waiting until spring the following year. Sources suggest Tesla will offer two reservation tiers, a $250 refundable deposit for general customers and a $1,000 priority deposit guaranteeing first quarter 2026 delivery. That single decision could mean getting your model 2 20 months earlier. And make no mistake, that difference matters. That's 20 months of gas savings, fewer maintenance costs, and avoiding the wave of competitor price wars that'll follow Tesla's launch. When Tesla pulls this off, the model 2 won't just be another car. It'll be the first electric vehicle to break out of the premium niche and dominate the true mass market. It'll finally put Tesla on the same battlefield as Corolla, Civic, and Golf, but with a fraction of the running cost and twice the acceleration. Let's talk about how Tesla's Gigafactory network will actually make that happen. Elon Musk has been crystal clear, Gigafactory Mexico in Nuevo Leon is the beating heart of this entire operation. Located only a few hours from the US border, it offers Tesla the perfect mix. Proximity to the American market, dramatically lower labor costs and streamlined permitting laws. Mexican automotive zones process permits in less than half the time the U.S. requires. That's a 60% speed advantage, meaning Tesla's ground-to-production window there is nearly 18 months faster than Giga Berlin's was. Construction in Mexico began in March 2025, and by October, the foundation work for the first assembly hall was already 40% complete. To compare, Berlin took 30 months to reach its first car. Mexico is on track to do it in 18 and the energy story is equally bold. Tesla's partnering with Mexico's Federal Electricity Commission to build a dedicated 400-megawatt substation, enough to power 80,000 homes. Electricity rates are locked at 6 cents per kilowatt hour, half of California's industrial rate. That alone saves Tesla about $720 per car at full production scale. Meanwhile, Giga Texas in Austin acts as the North American launch pad, the real-time testing ground for Tesla's unboxed production method. Internal documents leaked in August 2025 show that three full Model 2 prototypes were already assembled using this new process, each one taking only 47 minutes from subassembly to rolling chassis. That's half the time needed for a Model 3. At full scale, that efficiency means 15 cars per hour per line, or 240,000 per year, with just two lines. When those September tests wrapped up, it marked the final validation Tesla needed to lock in the design by the end of 2025. From there, suppliers get tooling orders which take about 12 to 16 weeks to deliver, putting Tesla perfectly on schedule for March 2026 production runs. It's a domino effect of precision and Elon's team knows it. While Mexico and Texas take center stage, Gigafactory Nevada is powering the backbone, the batteries. Tesla's investing $3.6 billion to expand its battery line, adding 3,000 new jobs and boosting capacity by 100 gigawatt hours annually. That's enough to power roughly 1.5 million Model 2s each year. For comparison, Toyota's biggest battery facility operates at barely half that capacity. Tesla isn't just scaling, it's redefining what scale means. And then there's Berlin and Shanghai, the global pillars waiting for their queue. Berlin's output is surging again, and local management has confirmed plans to retool for smaller, more affordable EVs once the Model 2 stabilizes. Shanghai, which already produced over 900,000 Teslas in 2024, will be the natural Asian hub for Model 2 demand. Put all of that together, Mexico, Texas, Nevada, Berlin, Shanghai, 
and by the late 2020s Tesla's Model 2 production could exceed 2.5 million cars annually. That's the same scale as entire legacy automakers like Hyundai or Ford. Now let's talk about what powers this car, the heart of any Tesla, its battery. To hit that $25,000 price, Tesla's most logical move is lithium iron phosphate, LFP. It's already proven in the Model 3 and Model Y, cheaper to make, safer to handle, and good for over 3,000 charge cycles. Each LFP pack costs between $80 to $90 per kilowatt hour, while traditional nickel-based batteries exceed $120. For a 50 kilowatt hour battery, the sweet spot for compact EVs, that's a saving of several thousand dollars right off the bat. Range estimates? Roughly 250 miles per charge. For most city drivers, that's perfect. But Tesla isn't stopping there. Inside its Nevada lab, engineers are testing aluminum ion modules, small 5 kilowatt hour prototypes built specifically for the Model 2 platform. Early reports show charge speeds up to three times faster than LFP and energy density about one and a half times higher. It's experimental, sure, stability drops after 500 cycles, but that's how innovation starts. Full pack prototypes won't appear until late 2027, so don't expect aluminum ion in customer cars anytime soon. There's also a quiet third player, sodium ion. Cheap, abundant, and stable even in cold weather. These cells could drop costs to around $60 per kilowatt hour, 30% cheaper than LFP, and perform better in winter conditions, which is a game changer for Europe and northern markets. If Berlin adopts sodium ion after 2027, Tesla could undercut every European rival not just in price, but in practicality. So where does that leave us? Right here, at the edge of an entirely new era. Because this isn't just another Tesla announcement. This is the company closing the loop, from luxury to accessibility, from innovation to mass adoption. The Model 2 isn't just a car. It's a signal that the future of electric mobility has arrived, and it's affordable. By 2026, you won't just hear about it. You'll see it on your street, charging in your neighbor's driveway, zipping silently past traffic in cities from Austin to Berlin. And when that happens, remember this moment. The moment the rumors ended and the revolution began. So tell me, when do you think you'll see the Tesla Model 2 on your street? Drop April 2026, if you believe in Elon's early timeline, late 2026, if you're cautious, or 2027, if you think the wait will be longer. Whatever you choose, one thing's certain, the Model 2 isn't a dream anymore. It's being built, tested, and prepared to change everything. And when those first deliveries roll out, the world will never look at an affordable car the same way again. This is Torque Element, and we'll be here when it happens.